Okay, today I want to introduce you to the new drag and drop editor. This is a drag and drop. It's much different than the WYSIWYG editors that we have on the website. This will allow us to insert images the same way. We can resize images, but you'll see we can position these pictures and move them around. We can also add text areas, and the text areas can be resized and also moved. So we can move the text around, we can move the pictures around, we can also create borders around things and change those border sizes, change page sizes and so on and so forth. So this is going to give us a lot easier building and it's going to give us more flexibility in the pages. We're going to do two demo pages. We're going to look at two pages here. This is a contact page and then we have a page with a couple pictures and a column on the right hand side. I also have a, a link in here. We're going to go over all the tools by building these two pages in the demo. And we're going to go ahead and start building a page and we'll start by removing what we have in here. You can right click on a section and delete it so we can clear the page. The first thing we need to look at is our page size. You'll see up here in the middle of the page we can change the page width and we can change the page height. We can change it as we go and we need more space. The width is going to be based on your page design. In this case we have about 700 pixels but we're going to make it 600. So you need to know what your page sizes are. If you make a page and it's too wide you can always come back and edit it and make it a little narrower. First thing we want to do is create a text area. So we click on insert text. This looks like a regular text editor. We're going to go ahead and paste in some stuff we already have and add it into the page. It inserts it into the page. We can click on it and move it. You'll notice the check marks around here. When you select an area, it shows you what that area is. You'll see a little section down here where you can change the size of that area. Now we can make this more into a column. We want to add a border. Over on the right hand side, you'll see controls and you'll see that the border if you slide the border, you can make a thick border or a thin border. We want to do about a border of one. And you'll see that the text doesn't fit in it. We want to make this the size that it fits in here nicely. Now, different computers are going to show different size text. You might want to give yourself a little extra room when you're building the page in case it's a little bit bigger on someone else's computer. You'll notice that the text here touches the side of the border. We have padding on the tools here, and you can change the padding to move it away from the sides. You can see we're getting a little bit bigger than our page. So we're going to go up here and just make the page a little bit longer so that it can fit. You can position this wherever you want it and leave it. Now I want to add a couple pictures in here. Click on the Add Picks, and we're going to go into our photo gallery. We're going to get pictures of these cars. We'll insert this one. You can resize the pictures. You want to hold your shift key on your keyboard down and by holding the shift key it'll maintain the aspect ratio. That way it doesn't get squashed out and out of shape. I'm going to resize that picture. And we want to insert another picture. Go ahead in here and select a different one. And we'll do the same thing. We'll resize it. Hold down your shift key. Size it down about the same size. I'll move that down here. Change the size a little bit. And we'll go here. So now, the sample had, instead of having the box around this area, it had a border on that area. It had a line in between. And we can do that by going down to the border style. And we can change from all to... You have to select the section first and we select the section and now we can change the border to left. So now the border is on the side. We can change the border to the top or the bottom. We just want to have it on the left. You can also change the style if you want a, a dashed border or if you want a dotted border. And we're going to go ahead with a solid line. And we're going to line that up. You can also add borders to pictures. As long as you click on the picture, make sure that those check marks are there. And now we can add a border onto the picture, same way. And we'll just do a small border of maybe 
two pixels. We can also change the border color. So if we want to change the border color to yellow, we can do that. And we can add padding into that so that it separates it away from the border. We're going to go ahead and make the border back to black. And we're going to give it a little bit of padding so that it's out a little ways and it gives it a little bit of a, an effect. We'll give it three pixels. Now we'll go down here and we'll match this one. And select it. Go to the border tools. Make a border of two. And then we had a padding of three on the other one. So we'll do a padding of three. And there we have these two little pictures here. In the, in the demo page, we had a Carfax logo. If we go into our image gallery and click on Carfax, we'll bring that down, position it. I want to show how to link a picture. You will right click on it, assuming you're right handed. Right click on it and you'll see a thing here to add a link. Click on add a link and type in the address you want it to link to. In this case, carfax.com. Now that image is linked to carfax.com. These pictures can be put over each other. If you wanted to have a picture over pictures, you can. You'll see that this is on top of that picture, but we can change that by right-clicking and bringing this picture to the front. Now this picture actually goes underneath it. So if you want pictures to be overlapped, you can also do that. Move the picture there, and it can overlap the other picture. For this demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and keep it simple. You can also change background colors. So in this section, we can do a background color. And we can change this to a, a different color if we want to. You can remove the background by clicking the Remove. That takes care of most of the tools over here. You can do the same thing with the pictures. You can put a background color, and that'll put it between the border. And you'll see that that gray now is in there between the border. If we open up the padding, you'll see that that does have a background, and you can remove that background also. Once you have the page where you want it, you want to save the page by clicking on the Save icon up here on the top. Click on Save, and it'll show you a preview of your page. If you don't, if you like it, you can con you can just close the editor or continue editing the page. If you want to keep editing the page, it'll take you back into the editor where you can make more changes. We're done with this page. And we're going to start on the next one. The next page we're going to build is going to be this contact page. See, we have a couple images here. This image was created using the drag and drop uh, deluxe image builder. And this was done using the tools and special effects to create a tipped picture and this Polaroid looking thing with the shadow. And you can find those tools in your regular image gallery in the management section. We're going to go ahead and go into the editor. First thing we want to do is add the text into the page. We click on text area, and we're just going to go ahead and paste. We just copied it from the other page. We're going to add that in. And again, grab the corner, size that area down where you want it so that it's going to fit with the picture, and then move it around on the page. I'm going to make this page a little bit longer. It's 450 tall. We're going to just slide the slide bar to make it a little bit longer so we can fit things. Go in and insert that banner. If we can find it in our gallery, we'll find it. We we'll click on it and move it wherever we want it. We want that right around the center of the page. Now you'll see the text is in the way, so we're going to move that down. You'll notice the text can actually go over pictures. We can actually put this over the top. Right now it's below it. You want to right click on that text area, bring to front. And now we can actually put text over images and over different sections. I'll bring that down here. There was a picture in our demonstration over here of the family. We're going to click and add that. Add that in. It's a little bit bigger than we want it. You want to resize it. Hold your shift key. Size it down. Now it fits nicely in there. There's some text on the bottom. And we're just going to paste what we have. We'll add another text area. And we'll add that. 
and we can bring that down here. Again, we're going to need a little bit longer page, so we'll move that. And what have we? Oh, clicking on the wrong. The text area is too long, so it runs into it. Make this a little bit narrower here. We'll fit that in. You'll see the text area we have all the way down into here. It's running into the other text area. We want to put a border around it, so we'll go over to our border tools that we showed in the last page. And we'll increase the border. Obviously, we don't need it running down here, so we want to resize that, bring it up here. We want to add some padding to it so it's not next to items. Set it up the way we want it. Get the picture organized where we want it. We've got this image, we've got that image, and the text on the bottom. This is going to make your life a lot easier. You can see how quickly we just put a page together. We click on save and we now have a finished page. We can continue editing the page. When we go out and we look at the page on the website, it was our build to page and you'll see it's just like the page that we built. Now that we've built a couple pages, let's go over some of the other things that will impact your pages. We can change the background color of the page. Go in here and select a color like that. You'll see the pictures have a white background so it doesn't look right in this picture. If we go ahead and save this, you'll see that that area is saved. On our website, we, we set this at a certain width so when we go over to our website, it's not going to change our whole page. It's only going to change the width that we set. So if we refresh this, you're going to see that that is only this section. If you want it to be the full section, you're going to want to change your template, or you're going to want to make this wide enough that it goes all the way out to the edges. Go back in here. We'll continue editing the page. To remove that, we just click on No Color, and it removes that background. You can um, put text over pictures. We select a picture and we want to put it over here. So if we want to put something over this picture, like our family, we can go ahead and add text. Type in and we want to make this big. We'll change the font and we'll change the size up to size 7. Okay, so now when we put this in here, we can put this over the picture. We can also change colors of text. So in here, if we want to change the background color, let's say we want to make this background color black. We can change the background color to black. Now we can't see the text. When we go into the editor, you can't see anything. If you highlight it, you can now make this white. Save it. Now you have white text in here. If you double click on the text areas, it opens up the editor. The editor is going to be the same color as the background, and you can edit the text. And that kind of gives you a lot of different things you can do in there. We want to put a red border around this. We can go ahead and we have a border, so we'll change the border color to red. And then we'll give it a little padding. And now we've got a red border, white text, we've got a name over here. So it's going to be really easy to create some really cool effects. You can slide things under each other. If you want to remove a picture, right click on it. You can delete it, or you can link pictures and text. If you want to link text, that's going to be done in the editor. You'll double click, you'll find your text area. Double click on your text area, it brings up the text editor. This is just like all the other editors. So if you want to link something, you're going to highlight the text in the editor, click on the chain link, and then type in the address, like HTTP mywebsite.com, and then it's going to link that. If you increase the size here, it's pretty small, increase it to 5. Now you're going to see it goes beyond the page. And 
We've already talked about making the page bigger. You just slide this and it gives you more space on the bottom. And you can make that page up to 2,000 pixels long, giving you more space to put in pictures and things in the page. Anytime you change the font sizes, that's going to be an issue. So if we go in here and we increase the font size, we change this to a bigger font, now it's not going to fit in the, in the uh, section anymore. So we're going to need to bring that down and make it big enough that everything fits. And this obviously will have to be moved down the page so that that fits. So anytime you make a change in font size or you're adding something into the page, you're going to have to adjust things accordingly. You can resize pretty much everything, but this is not going to this will resize this area, but it's not going to resize the text. Resize the text, double click on it, highlight the text that you want to change, and this is just like the other editors, take it down to a smaller size, and there we have it in here. Saving the page we've talked about, there's a help page which will click on the help page, it'll take you over to the help page and then review this video as many times as you need to to see all the different tools that you can use. If you try to edit one of the pages built with the drag and drop editor with a standard editor, click on edit, you're going to get a warning message and that warning is going to tell you that you're going to lose the formatting and not be able to go back and edit it using the drag and drop. They are compatible and they can be edited with any other editor, but we lose the formatting that we need to be able to edit that page in the drag and drop. They can still be moved around, but they're done a little bit differently with the tabs. They're a little bit harder to use. Click on them to get them in front. Um, it gets a little bit messy. You can do right and left in these things. You would be able to go in and edit text and change font sizes and styles and change positions, colors, and so on and so forth. So you can still do editing in the editor, but once you do this and save it, you can't go back to the drag and drop editor. And then we're doing this so that it's a lot easier, it's not confusing. Um, you wouldn't be able to format everything in the page if we let you do that. So we're going to limit what's built on the editor to being edited on the editor. Other than that, it should be a great tool. Enjoy it, use it, and good luck building pages.